what is up you amazing people welcome back to my channel so today's the day today's the first day of anime today's gonna be me reacting to season two of mushoku tensei as i've said before i've already seen a lot of anime before and i'm not going to watch the old stuff it's not gonna be a good reaction because i've already seen what happens so i'm just gonna pick off where i left off this is just gonna be today i'm reacting to this so basically mondays i guess but every day is gonna be a different anime until i get back to that the next week and that's that's just how i'm gonna schedule it so there's gonna be about six maybe five depends i'll see just what i'm into at the moment but anyway so we will be diving into mushoku tensei season two jobless reincarnation last off we saw that iris left rudy and it was quite a quite a hectic scene as well you know they had just been together you know in that way then she left him because i guess she just felt that she wasn't strong enough to protect him from the dragon lord or the dragon god it's been a while since I've seen it, so I have to kind of remember the names and things. We saw that Rouget had left them, the super, because he said that they were capable of being on their own now. And then we also did see that Rudis's mom, she was underwater when they all got teleported, and he's now on his way to find her. He still hasn't met Roxy yet. I'm hoping that he sees her in this season, which he probably will, obviously. Let's just jump into it. Let me remind myself of this anime and so i'm going to be reacting to episode one and two or it's like episode zero and episode one so let's just see what happens so this one is called guardian fit they've got the best openings i swear because the openings is not a sort of and like a normal intro that most animes will have it kind of shows you what's happening in their world and it also shows you maybe what's happening in that episode maybe if they arrived at a certain place then it'll show you maybe the, that place it'll show you the town the town's folk all in the opening so who is this now long blonde hair looks a bit young to be rudy's mom the one thing about this anime is that it's so beautiful is that selfie what color were they i'm so curious oops my mistake okay so i had to go a little bit back because it was on english i was on the dub and not the sub and i always watch this anime in japanese with subtitles nothing against the dub but that was a little bit of a mistake i'm using this cruncher roll for the first time oh those food that treats look good for them cherry blossom pink and standing tall so this is obviously some form of royalty and sylph seems like selfie seems like she's flying through the air yeah so this is probably where she got teleported and she probably ends up falling onto these royals your highness will someday rule this kingdom you always say that but i'm only the second prince and while they live i cannot possibly inherit throne sipping tea and living as i please so i wonder where this is in their world you know what continent this is because we know that there's like the demon continent there's all these oh yes yeah, she's got a she did a bit of training with roxy didn't did she not if i remember correctly oh some wild boar why is this guy talking about like he's going to die oh oh she thought it was the ground and she wanted to stop herself from falling she just crushed that thing skull <laughs> oh my goodness that dude was literally like <laughs> protect the kingdom oh my goodness dead wow you can imagine the force from falling and then trying to stop herself from falling with a blast what is that timing and now she looks like some sort of entity that fell from the sky to protect the princess you know what i mean wow that's crazy that's the thing about the show the animation is next level it shows you how sort of far we've come from the dragon ball days and things like that and and look already you can see right selfie self uh, selfie i think it is but she's now already being treated like someone special you know otherwise they would have thrown her in royal palace of azura otherwise they would have thrown her in some sort of prison buena village so this is when she got teleported and stuff Fitoa is no more. It's, is Fitoa not where Rudy them are originally from? I think I might have just missed something. Your home no longer exists. Wow. Okay, so this is why she probably never went back. 
punished for trespassing. Oh, she's gonna give her a disguise. If you've done this and... Oh, wait, because there is that other... In season one, there's this chick, so it was Sulf the whole time, who had those glasses on and was like around like the palace area and stuff. Wow. <laughs> she looks pretty dope. But that's crazy to think about because look at like the ter um, the turmoil that everybody else went through when they were sort of teleported and look where she goes into a royal palace and she's being protected by one of the princesses. <laughs> <laughs> Your own father. Princess Ariel. It's funny because Iris is also was or not was is also a princess, but look how different they are, right? Conspiring. She's clearly got a, a, a sweet tooth. Oh, so I wanted to say, did he say it's his sister? So what? He's using analogy as for something else, right? Using the, the snacks as a way to show him how life has been for him. Let me hear that lovely singing voice of yours again sometimes. That's the thing about like these royals, you know, in most shows and just in life. It's that they're supposed to be so high and mighty, but there's always some sort of agenda behind everything. What was his name? <laughs> Silent Fitz. Oh, so the episode is called Guardian Fitz. Is fighting for the crown, right? Everybody wants to rise in ranks, but the only way to really do that in sort of these royal places is it normally comes through death. Master fits already. What dainty hands you have. Look at these old guys. Oh my gosh. So completely fumbling right now. Which is interesting because in season one, when you saw these glimpses of her, she seemed very strong and in control. So obviously we're going to see how she gets better and better. Beautiful singing voice. This honestly, when you see things like this, all I feel is like something's gonna happen. This is just toxic. People are just putting on a show, but they, they really, like I said, they've got their own agendas. They're waiting for someone to slip, waiting for someone to fall. It's just typical. Where's that other guy? <laughs> He's like, go on living without me. That was crazy. But in her head, is she not thinking like, you know, let me go see the village myself. You know, like Rudus wasn't at the village when things happened. So maybe I should go find him. So she is trying to run against her brother. This is why he was kind of saying all these things. But have my friends or family been found? Is she even looking? Alright. But here's the thing. Wouldn't you just let her go? Like, why does she have to stay there? Unless that's the promise that she made. Like, I'm going to... <laughs> Reward. What's this? Oh, what? Of course, you've got these palace people who are obviously creeps. Is that some type of slave on this guy's lap? But we know Mushoku Tensei at this point. There's a lot of weird stuff that goes on as well. Surely this Princess Ariel knows that it's a girl, right? I mean, she literally didn't have any clothes on in that first episode, so I'm not... Oh, wow. Quite enough jesting. So she was playing around.
So, I mean, the princess who's supposed to be this, you know, the sweet princess eating snacks, drinking tea, relaxing, essentially is that they all have their own agenda. I think that's, that's the thing. That's the name of this. That's the title of this episode. Everybody's got an agenda no matter how they see it. When life gets hard, don't be afraid to ask for help. So that's the other thing, you know? She said, you having trouble sleeping, right? Having nightmares. And then she made it seem like, oh, if you come sleep in my room, then maybe you won't have nightmares. But really, she was saying that she can't really sleep. So it's like, it's typical. I mean, if the brother finds out about this, there's obviously going to be some form of uproar. Oh, what? Whoa, that's the chick from where well, was with that creep. Whoa, let's go. So she's improved a lot since back then. Oh, she must have got caught. Oh, whoa, dead. Whoa magic is absolutely insane and how strange is it that on the day that she asked her to sleep in the same where were you luke on the day that she told her to sleep there she tries to get killed or they try to attempt a kill on her wow night eyed hawk famed assassin appearances can be deceiving because you know when in actual fact she's an assassin but obviously everybody has a backstory you know enemies in the palace it's your brother using your studies as pretext interest because that's the thing that you normally see with these royals they will like they'll disappear but as long as they're alive they still have a chance to you know, go into power oh wow i relieve you of my duties as mage bodyguard that's what I was saying. Oh, is that the whole episode? Wow. In season one. This time I want to go with you of my own free will. So they're going to be traveling now on their journey and run into their own sort of things. I'm glad to see how Sylphie, how she's like become, you know, how strong she's become. She's done two things in this episode that's insane. That I want to see as she gets stronger. Princess Ariel, I didn't get that. Aminoi something. I choose this path to keep my friends safe. Wow. Oh, isn't this the where we saw the dragon god? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting episode. I did say that I'm gonna jump into episode one, it's episode two. Very good episode already. Got goosebumps and chills. Obviously, they, there's the hint of Mushoku Tensei. That's just what you're gonna get with this anime. But wow, very intense. I literally have goosebumps on my arm right now. Those two fight scenes with Sophie were absolutely amazing. Let's just jump into episode two so this one is called the broken hearted mage and we can obviously guess that that is rudis you know he at the end of season one he was down i felt for him man i mean we've all been through similar things where someone just leaves you that you love like that maybe not everyone but it can really destroy you so who's this now? Every time I see people, I always think it's Rudy's mom, you know? Because she has the blonde hair, they wear the same sort of outfit. Oh no, there's Rudy. <sighs> there's that, that deep sigh, you know? Wow. I'm trying to remember. Did we meet this person at the end of season one? I, I really can't remember. Dude's hearts in tatters. What brings you up north? So the adventurer bodyguards. That's the thing when you are Susanna's trying to be nice. They're alive. Oh, because Iris is very much like that, you know. She actually sounds like Iris. I'm looking for my mother. Victim of the mass teleportation in Fatoa. Yeah, so I was right. Fatoa is the village where they're from. Where Sophie's from as well. But that's the thing. When you have a broken heart, I mean, you don't care about anybody else's feelings. It's like, leave me alone, brother. Let me be. <laughs> I could tell you about the Northlands on the road if you like. 
Well, at least he's getting some help, right? Three great magical nations. The Kingdom of Renoa. Implements. Wow. Okay. I mean, I only picked up a little bit of that, but essentially there's one that does training, one that is does great arcane magic, and I, I don't even remember the other one. But those are the three great magic nations, so I think we'll be sort of exploring that through this season as well, which should be interesting. And Rudy can get even a lot stronger now, you know, picking up different things from different people. Oh, wait, so Sylphie was walking where it was cold, but like I said, I thought that was where the dragon god was. Take the room to the far east. Whoa, dude's planning on staying in this room forever. <laughs> Once again, this is where he is. Oh my word, he even has a lock of her hair. Bro, is down bad. Yo, wake up. I'm not traveling to get over my heartbreak. I need to find Zena. But Zena. Easier said than done. But at least he, he has the, the understanding not to get absorbed back into that. Because, I mean, it's so easy. He's not someone to be messing with right now. Would you mind helping me officially disband my party? Wow. What do they call it again? Something dead? Dead end? The dead end? Wow. Wow. I wonder if those other two that he met in the in the trailer, whatever you want to call it, is going to join him. Seems like it, right? Yes. I don't like the look of you. That's what I was saying. He has that look like just don't mess with me i'm i'm done so we've got a a warrior right she's um a sword wielder we've got an archer and we've got a mage perfect the best way is to join a party and survive supporting melee fighters yeah <laughs> he's still sulking you're such a child Someone's got some liquor in them. Oh my goodness. And even worse, now you have to travel with someone who's just going to keep reminding you of Eris the whole time. Wow. But that's how life is. So is this the whole crew? Rudus Greyrat. You can obviously see that Rudus and... I'm not sure if they gave her name just yet. Maybe this is where they're doing the introductions. But you can see that they're going to become very close. I mean, that much is obvious. And that's probably going to be his way of getting over Eris. I'm Suzanne. Okay, we knew she was Suzanne, but we still didn't get the other one's name. Timothy. Long range magical tax. Okay. Sarah. I don't want you here. <laughs> she reminds me, actually does remind me so much of Eris. So we got Timothy, the leader. I actually even forgot the other names, but the one guy's a long range magic user. We've got another warrior up front with Suzanne. So this north seems to be extremely dangerous, but is it more dangerous than the demon content where Rudy's already been? To? Oh my gosh. Bro's heart is destroyed. The last of Grizzlies were here to hunt. Did he smile for a second? Is he finally, excuse the pun at the fire, but warming up? Oh, Murmur was the other guy's name. Okay, I'm getting the names now. We'll back you up. Murmur's the healer, right? Wow. Do as you're told. That's another way they're like. I mean, it's clear that that's how it always works, right? In most relationships, like you get on each other's nerves. Well, most sometimes, maybe when you're a bit younger, but you get on each other's nerves and then you like each other just as much as you annoyed each other. She's getting a bit full of herself. So she's probably been on the road for some time. <gasps> Roxy must be. Wow, there the depression kicks in again. Another thing about the show is that it really hits on deep levels. Really well made. Okay, so these are those, what do they call them? Hunter Grizzlies or? I didn't get the name correctly. Okay, so this is going to be good. Oh, because I can't see well at night. Wow. Oh my goodness, that didn't even do anything to them. Okay, let's go, Rudus. Show them why. Okay, there we go. So he slowed down the movement so he can hit them with fire. 
Interesting. Let the great protection of fire be on the place thou seek. Well, I see, so... But these bears don't look like they're walking the park. He hears something else, probably. There's something else here. Wow, imagine. It's coming. Black grizzlies. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. The mud will protect him from the fire. Oh, and you can see a little bit into the future. Oh, wow. I'm sick of this. I'll just lose everything anyway. Oh, wow. So is this the same grizzly just covered in mud? Oh, right through the eye. Divine powers. What? Oh, he's, he's, that's his healing. Because they all, remember, they have to do the incantations to do magic. But Rudus can do it silently. Wow, this animation is insane. I wonder if the dragon god didn't do something to him. Or maybe because he's already died. Oh my goodness, Rudus is going to do something crazy. Oh wow, please leave this to me wow oh my goodness oh how big is that fireball wow rudis amazing oh so they're just gonna skip to the morning wow he's destroyed but one shot killed them all i mean you might not like him but now you have to respect him and i got some bear pelts as well that you can get some coin for is that from skinning the bear or is it from what happened to him after he cast such a big fireball we owe you one <laughs> let's go there's some light back in his face is the skin on his hand is like singed off now is that from actually like i said is that from cutting the bear pelts the calluses or is that because he used so much magical power thanks i owe you wow big and that's all it takes oh my goodness this must be a massive haul for them and these guys who are just drinking the whole time too scared to take that bounty or job i think they're hot shit Drinks on us. That's one way to get everybody on your side. They take something free. Counter faces. Wow. Just like that. To being down in the, in the depths. To being your name being cheered. But what did he mean when he said, I've always known, right? That's going to be interesting to unpack. In my opinion, get rid of the hair, you know? Get rid of eris's hair and move on brother oh wow of course imagine he throws it in the fire oh of course wow what a great episode man roxy oh this is when he was young I need to remember when i first came to this world she took me outside for the first time wow man second episode man wow full goosebumps Wow. Sure, I've lost something important, but it doesn't mean I've lost everything. Wow. Can't sit around moping. Man, this show hits you straight in the feels, bro. Oh, is he gonna do it? What? He's gonna do it. Oh my goodness. Crazy. He's, that's crazy. Wow, he did it. That's what, that's what, that's what needs to be done wow oh my goodness mushoku tensei i promise you is one of the best animes i've ever seen in my life i promise you man that hit me straight in the fields i swear my eyes are like wet it's crazy wow just from that first episode seeing what happened with sylphie where she actually got teleported to when there was that big thing that happened whatever you want to call it seeing where she ended up with princess ariel that amazing opening scene where she killed that hog hog man whatever 
COVID was and then saving her from that assassin and just insane animation and then seeing Rudus how he was still down like I said I mean the episode was called the broken hearted mage and wow just seeing how his overcome that through hard work and trying to remember what what it was when he first got into that world when he reincarnated and keeping his mind on Roxy and what she taught him and not to let those lessons go to waste very intense oh heavy 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 uh that's gonna be it for me if you like the video like subscribe if you want to see more mushoku tensei reactions like i said it's most likely gonna be every monday i'll do two two episodes every monday and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out every day is gonna be a different anime which is all good it's all cool and yeah that's gonna be it for me for now i'm out peace in a bit